Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we are going to discuss about another few medical prefixes that we can use with medical terminology and that shows the uh, it show, that shows um, mainly the direction or you can say the position. Okay, so whenever you want to showcase something uh, as a direction or position, in that case, we will utilize these prefixes. In our previous session also, we discussed few prefixes uh, for the same purpose. So today we are going to uh, explore new prefixes. Okay. So how we will proceed in this session? Like firstly, I will tell you about the prefix with their meaning. And also we will cover few example. Because without examples, it, uh, it would not be that much uh, easier for you to understand the actual meaning of the prefix. Because at if you are working for a let's say medical coding or any other medical domain, so at uh, like um, at that moment you sh you are going to refer some documentations, right? So in those documentation, you should be know like what is the actual meaning of prefix and how we can use it, right? So that's why we will also cover few examples in it. So let's see what all prefix we have today. So first one is meso. Meso prefix is mainly used in order to showcase something as middle. Okay, so whenever you want to make a sound of middle, middle of something, then in that case we will use the meso. Okay, so this is fine. Like we know that meso is mainly used for showcase something as middle. But what are the examples? How we can identify them? So for that, I have mentioned few examples here, which is like that. Mesothelium mesothelium which means the middle layer of cell lining the celomic cavities such as pleura and peritoneum okay so when whenever you want to showcase something as the middle layer of lining cell uh, celomic cavities then in that case you will utilize the terminology mesothelium which in contain the prefix as meso which is indicating middle you got my point now the next example is mesocortex now why we are using mesocortex in order to showcase something as middle like the middle layer of cerebral cortex so when we want to denote something as the middle layer of cerebral cortex then again we will use the term uh, prefix as meso okay so this is why we are using meso so when you look at all these examples, you will find that something uh, which is common here is meso or middle because every example contains the meso prefix which is indicating middle. Okay. Now look at the third example which is meso colon which means a fold of peritoneum that attaches the colon, colon to the posterior or abdominal wall. So again we are attaching something in a middle so th the fold of peritoneum that attaches okay so when you fold something you you will find some middle layer right so the a fold of peritoneum that attaches the colon to the posterior abdominal wall so again we are using mesocolon but you might say that there is nothing right middle in this example but if you read it carefully you will find that yes something is in middle a fold of peritoneum that attaches the colon to the posterior abdominal wall Okay, so sometimes we, we will also face these kind of uh, like we will encounter with these type of prefixes. So we should know like how to read it and how to understand it. Then we have mesoderm. Mesoderms means the middle layer of, uh, of an embryo giving rise to connectivity, uh, connective tissues, muscles and some organs. So again, you can see middle, uh, uh, middle germ layer is used in order to showcase uh, the mesoderm okay so meso means middle middle of something fine so these are all example related to meso prefix which denotes middle now we will see few more prefixes which are intra and meta so let's look at the intra first what is intra so let's say i want to showcase something within the some uh, within the body part you can say within a particular on, uh, organ you can say so in that case you will utilize the prefix intra intra is mainly used to showcase something within so you can see intradermal 
so first example is intradermal what it means within the skin intra means within and dermal means skin so maybe at the moment you you are not aware of the uh, what we can say the terminology that's fine that's completely fine because uh, terminology we have not covered so far we, we are just uh, discussing only about the uh, the prefixes right so that's why if you are not aware of these things at the moment it's okay no problem we are just discussing about the prefixes okay okay so fine the next example is intracranial intracranial means within the skull so whenever you want to showcase something within the skull then you will use the terminology intracranial which contains the prefix intra okay similarly if you want to showcase something as within the eye then in that case you will utilize the intraocular intraocular within the eye so in some di diagnosis report let's say if uh, some disease is there within the eye then the doctor will use this terminology intraocular which means in the eye similarly we have intravenous intravenous means within a vein so when you want to showcase something as within the vein then you will use the terminology intravenous which contains the prefix intra okay so these are the few examples related to intra prefix that sounds within now next prefix is meta meta means beyond or change now there might be one question from your end like we have already discussed few uh, prefixes that are also used for showcasing something beyond so yes it's correct because in medical science like we have multiple uh, you can say prefixes that are used as an alternative name so it's uh, completely fine like you you might uh, encounter various of uh, prefixes that we use in order to showcase something uh, uh, as beyond okay like uh, meta is used for beyond as well as for change both uh, both type of thing you can indicate with the help of meta prefix so let's understand with some example first one is metacarpal metacarpal means beyond the carpals whenever you want to showcase something beyond the carpals then you will use the terminology metacarpal okay and here you can see beyond the carpals the bones of the hand okay then we have metastasis metastasis means the spread of cancer cells beyond their original site so let's say there is one disease where patient is suffering from cancer and uh, even like after the original site or beyond the original site also it is spreading the cancer spell, uh, cells are spreading so that type of disease is indicated with the help of metastasis prefix uh, metastasis terminology which contains the prefix as meta which shows beyond okay similarly we have metatarsals metatarsals means beyond the tarsals the bones of the foot so when we want to denote something as uh, beyond the tarsals then we will use the thing metatarsal so you can see in each and every example one thing is common that we are using it for denoting it meta or beyond okay then we have metaplasia metaplasia means the transformation of one type of tissue into another here we are using the term in order to showcase something as change transforming changing right so you can see this is one example for change and above three example is for beyond so when you want to showcase something as the transformation of one type of tissue into another then you will use the terminology metaplasia okay so yeah these are the some prefixes which i want to showcase you in today's session i hope these uh, points are clear with their example so i recommend you to go and do practice of it just uh, read out a few more prefixes related to intra meta and meso so that it will help you to understand the concept properly now for today we have one question what information is provided by the prefix inter and infra so this thing we have already covered in our previous session so i hope you know the answer of this question so i request you to put the answer in the uh, comment section so that others can take a reference from it and it will also help you to understand the concepts easily and it will also prepare your mind uh, for the upcoming exams and interviews okay so yeah that's all for today 
and in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture myth